Good evening. You're watching the news from the South and Stoke of Man Television. First, the headlines. Turkish Prime Minister arrives in Baghdad for discussions between the two neighbors fighting the Daesh group. Dozens of people are killed as the fighting continues near the Syrian capital city of Damascus. And the annual ophthalmology conference 2017 reviews in Muscat latest treatment techniques and medicine. Live from the news center of the Sultanate of Oman Television, here we present to you the details of this news bulletin. At least nine people were killed in fighting near the Syrian capital Damascus overnight, despite a fragile nationwide truce. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said fighting was continuing today in Wadi Barada, a rebel-held district northwest of Damascus that is home to the capital's main water source. A huge tanker truck bomb killed at least 43 people and wounded dozens more today in the Syrian rebel-held town of Azaz near the Turkish border. The blast ripped through a market area in front of a local of court authorities. The observatory said six rebel fighters were among the dead, but most of those killed were believed to be civilian. Some bodies were completely burned in the blast. Turkish Prime Minister Bin Ali Yeldrim arrived in Baghdad today for a two-day visit. It is the first visit since the two governments quarreled over the presence of an unauthorized uh, Turkish troops in northern Iraq, straining relations between the two neighbors fighting the Daesh group. Yildirim was received by Haider al-Abadi at the Iraqi Prime Minister's office. The presence of some 500 Turkish uh, troops in the Bashikha region northeast of the Daesh-held city of Mosul has uh, stirred tensions uh, with Baghdad uh, since late last year. Iraq has demanded their withdrawal, saying they are there without uh, permission and are in a blatant uh, violation of Iraqi sovereignty. Turkey said the troops were invited by local Iraqi authorities and has ignored the calls. Yildirim is also expected to visit Erbil or northern Iraq uh, tomorrow. Japan and France will deepen their military and safety cooperation according to a joint statement issued after a 2 plus 2 meeting between their defense and foreign ministers in Paris. This is the third meeting of the kind and French Foreign Minister Jean-Marc Ariol to Defense Minister jean Yves de Drian and Japanese Foreign Minister Fumio Kishida the Defense Minister Timomi Inada attended the meeting. The two sides agreed to carry out military cooperation and enhance communications on defense technology, such as developing military industrial projects together. They also confirmed their intentions for furthering joint research into undersea drones. Lee Drian said that they will further collaborate on their military exercises and the United Nations peacekeeping operations. They also expressed their willingness to develop the third-party market in Africa and welcomed the enhanced cooperative training and exercise between NATO and Japan in marine and network security. Florida's uh, Fort Lauderdale International Airport was opened again today after a shooting rampage by an Iraq war veteran that killed five people, wounded eight and sent thousands scrambling for safety. Police identified the suspect as 26-year-old Esteban Santiago, who was in custody and being questioned by the FBI over the shooting that shut down the airport, a major gateway to the Caribbean and Latin America. Santiago, who earlier complained that the CIA was forcing him to watch Daesh group videos, allegedly opened fire randomly with a semi-automatic handgun in the baggage claim area of Terminal 2. Santiago had traveled from Alaska to Fort Lauderdale with a stopover in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Santiago, who was born in New Jersey and raised in Puerto Rico, is a former member of the Puerto Rico and Alaska National Guard. He served in Iraq from April 2010 to February 2011 and ended his service in August.
Heavy rains continued to hammer Thailand's uh, flood ravage south today, bringing the death toll up to 12 and leaving thousands of villages partially submerged. The flooding, which was roof high in some areas, has affected more than 700,000 people since it started a week ago. In hard-hit Nakhon Si Thamarat province, uh, two army helicopters were deployed to airlift food to families trapped inside their homes. The deluge has already disrupted beach holidays in several travelers' hotspots, including the popular islands of Samui and Panghan. Hundreds of tourists have had their flights delayed, while train and bus services on the mainland have also been suspended. You're watching the Sultanate of Oman television and still to come in our news bulletin. Works of the construction project for the road linking the new Muscat International Airport and Muscat Express Road are completed. Welcome back uh, to the news from the Southern of Oman Television. The annual ophthalmology conference held for two days under the auspices of His Excellency Dr. Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Saeed, the Minister of Health, concluded in Masqat. I was present at the event, and here is the report. The ophthalmology conference organized by the Oman Ophthalmic Society in collaboration with the Minister of Health, Armed Forces, Medical Services, Oman Medical Specialties Board and the Sultan Qaboos University concluded its sessions today. The conference, uh, which uh, focused on specific eye diseases, starting from the diagnosis methods to reviewing the latest treatments, techniques and medicine. It witnessed uh, the presence of large uh, local and regional and international participation of more than 350 staff of different eye specialties including ophthalmologists, optometrists, uh, paramedical staff, uh, nurses and others. Uh, the conference uh, since yesterday and we have covered many topics in the retina and cornea, especially in the cornea. We have covered the cornea transplant in different, uh, in different ways, different the modern, especially in updates. And, and also we covered the refractive surgery, which is new in the fields and there's a new procedure we, we have uh, covered from different directions. Two of my colleagues have presented in the uh, uh, conference. Uh, Dr. Haytham presented about the uh, keratoconus in uh, AFH and Dr. Dr. Abdurrahman presented about the epidemiology and pathophysiology of uh, keratoconus in Oman. The conference introduced the participants uh, to the latest developments regarding the diagnosis, detection and treatment of cornea diseases at early stage. It provided a platform for sharing experiences with the local and international participants and addressed the new surgical technologies in their diagnosis and treatment of cornea and other eye diseases. The conference included several sessions and symposia that highlighted the keratoconus, anatomy and physiology, cornea, imaging and surgical management of disease. Scientific papers also address uh, keratoconus uh, in children and glaucoma. So my name is Wolfgang Meyer. I'm from Germany. I'm working in the University Eye Hospital in Munich. I'm the leader of the refractive and cornea unit there. Um, it's my first time that I joined the Oman International Congress of Ophthalmology. Uh, the topic today in 2016 and 2017 are now uh, the coronal approaches in the future. So I'm really impressed about the uh, ophthalmic services in Oman because it's a free system. Everyone can uh, go to a hospital uh, uh, for uh, care, caring uh, of individual diseases. Furthermore, the conference sessions uh, overviewed vitro retinal diseases and highlighted updates of the disease. 
The Southern Iraqs are on the 8th of January every year, Oman Environment Day. The celebration embodies the great attention accorded by the government to environment protection. The Minister of Environment and Climate Affairs had done many works to preserve the Omani environment and protect it from pollution in 2016. It stated the rehabilitation of many sea bays and implanting many mangrove trees. The ministry also proposed four sites to be natural reserves, Masira Nature Reserve, Restock Wildlife Reserve, Starlights, Reserve and uh, Damaniat Nature Reserve. It also signed Paris agreements last year to implement national policies and work plans required to adapt to negative efforts resulted from climate changes and reduction of gas emission of global warming. The Southern had also succeeded in the implementation of the first phase of Vienna Agreement for a zone layer protection. The ministry's celebrations of Oman Environment Day will continue till the end of the current month through intensifying beach and natural reserves cleaning campaigns and planting some wild plants. Muscat Municipality completed works of the construction project for roads linking the new Muscat International Airport and Muscat Express Road as per highest engineering and traffic safety standards. These roads will be a direct connection between the new airport and the Express Road. They will serve vital areas such as Ghala Industrial Estates, modern centers and establishment at Al Irfan districts and existing and future commercial and economic projects in this area. Muscat Municipality also finished the development project of the 18th of November Road and the establishment of a flyover and the conjunction at the entrance of Muscat International Airport. The municipality aims uh, through the implementation of these projects to enhance the road network and reduce traffic jams. It also seeks to implement these roads as part technical specification that guarantee the continuity of traffic movement in all climate conditions. The Southerners' production of electricity till the end of October 2016 increased to more than 29,000 gigawatt loading at 4.2% increase compared to the production recorded during the same period in 2015. Similarly, water production grew to exceed 314 million cubic meters with an increase of 12.6% till the end of October 2016 compared with the same period in 2015 according to the latest statistics released by the National Center for Statistics and Information. More than 144,000 commercial and industrial registries were submitted electronically via the Invest Easy portal in 2016, including 83,000 active registries, 60,000 cancelled registries, and 262 suspended registries. The Invest Easy portal, which includes 77 electronic services, aims to facilitate the provision of services and benefits to investors and the business sector in one station. It is a source of data relating to the commercial work achieving clarity in the procedure and the possibility of updating all company or company data electronically saving time and effort and increasing confidence of investors. The value trading at Muscat Securities Market MSM in 2016 stood at more than 958 million Oman reals after a year which was characterized by share and oil price uh, fluctuation. The complications of the oil price slump has affected the Omani national economy as well as other economies of the region. There has been concerns among stock investors that the financial results of the companies may be affected by the oil price drop and public expenditure cut. Many investors thus reduced their stock investments as well as the cash liquidity availed for stock investments. The value of uh, trading has been going backward for the third successive year as it declined by 31% compared to 2015. MSM index went upward in 2016 by 7% to close at 5,782 points comprising an increase by 376 points. <laughs> And now for the general weather forecast around the Sultanate, uh, clear skies will prevail over the most of the governorates with chances of low clouds and fog early morning and late at night over the governorates of al Wusta and al Buremi. Winds will be northwesterly light to moderate, seas will be slight to moderate with a maximum wave height of 1.5 meters. And here are the details.
You're watching the Southerners of Oman television and before we end tonight's bulletin, here are the main points once again. Turkish Prime Minister arrives in Baghdad for discussions between the two neighbors fighting the Daesh group. Dozens of people are killed as the fighting continues near the Syrian capital city of Damascus. And the annual ophthalmology conference 2017 reviews in Muscat latest treatment techniques and medicine. And with that, uh, we come to an end of tonight's news uh, bulletin from the entire news team here in the studio and the newsroom. Live from the news center, we do thank you for joining us. Wish you a pleasant evening and good night.